What's up, you guys? This is gonna be notes. I got those. Look, well, you can't. Uh, uh. Well, it's say undo typing. J. Cole's new album for your eyes only. Okay, at first, I was like. Then I got to like track. What is it for? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in depth. But this is how it was at first. The first time I listened to the whole, you know, whole album straight through. I was like, okay, I'm feeling track four, which track four is, um, uh, oh Lord, I don't even know how to say it anymore. A uh, vow, I don't oh, know, Ville mentality. The groove and all that stuff was cute. Uh, the first song I heard, I guess we can go back. Here's the review time, guys. Here's the review. Let's go. So for him, the bells, uh, the bell tolls. I was like, okay. It started off, I was, I was feeling it. At this point, this is my first time listening to it. I'm like, I like it. It's what's up. It's cool. Then he started to my death and suicide. I was like, damn it. I don't want to be depressed. But once I heard the song again, I was like, okay, I'm feeling I got what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I see where you're going with it. And it's just basic everyday life, you know, what, or what he's going through. But there's too many people go through, you know, well, not being good enough, not doing this, not doing that. Should I did that? Should I have done this? You know, where would my life be if this? And you just keep pushing. He was like, look, he doing, I'm doing drugs. I'm on the high. But when I get off the high, I still want to, you know, you know, go there. Go to that place. So, that was that was a cool song. So, then we get into track two, Immortal. Red niggas don't die no more. The, uh, I mean, red, <laughs> they don't die. He's saying the legacy lives on and all that. I'm like, okay, okay. Then. Look, look, J. J. Cole, you trying to say you a, you a legend? No. <laughs> trying to say you a legend, bro? You a legend? No. But, yeah, this song, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm first time. I didn't really think, you know. To think too much. The second time I listened, I was like, "Okay, I got you. I got you saying I'm feeling the vibe." And at this point, I'm just like, "I got Spotify Premium for ten dollars." I'm just like, "Look, I'm gonna need some more coins so I can go and go broke for your album." <laughs> Be like the Beyonce fans. Look, he not expensive though, like Beyonce. So yeah, go copy the album. It's already track two. Go get the album, or if you got Spotify. But I don't know, like, where that goes. Since you got Spotify, it's ten dollars. What does J Cole get from that ten dollars? I hope you getting something, cause I'm gonna see if I can get the album for real, for real. But yeah, that's track two, Immortal. Uh, I'm trying to remember the little vibe. It, I was listening to more of the messages than anything from this song, cause if I'm telling y'all, at first, the first time I heard everything, track uh, four, a uh, vow. Why well, keep wanting to say Val? Bill mentality was what I wanted, was it, and what I stuck with at first, because I was like, I don't want the feeling at the moment. I just want to listen to the songs. But then the second time around, I got the feel and the gist of every song, and I love them. But well, let's continue. So Deja Vu, Deja Vu, um, I want to say, what is that song that he, he rapped? It was with, um, Miguel, that 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 the video was creeped me out when he did it because I think he was trying to uh he the girl cheated on him or something that video right there y'all know what I'm talking about I can't go into detail but that video it made me think of that but small small town uh mm, deja vu homegirl as I'm looking for a quick fix she's not looking for somebody to grow with which is why I'm this is what I get from it and. He said something about being on a corner where you need to be reaching for more than a corner. You need to be reaching for the universe and not just, you know, what you can see. Because a lot of us do stuff. We want that fast cash, that fast fix, that microwave. We're in the microwave society already. I think fast food business always popping. But yeah, so. That's that. Oh my God, I wasn't trying to get this deep. I don't think, I hope it's not that deep. But you know. So we get into track four. Like I said, I love this song. Ville Mentality. I was about to say Val again, bro. What's wrong with me? Ville Mentality. I love it. Just everything about it. Um, the He talks about learned behaviors and you can't. What am I trying to say? You can't. Oh, that's another song. Change is another song. 
But I guess just the basic norm, what people see, what people have done. It's a little baby. I don't know who she is. If it's a boy or girl, I wouldn't go into detail. But the baby talks about how her dad got, I guess, got into the wrong group. Got shot by a friend. And the baby lives with the mom. And she was like, go oh, clean your room. And she, the baby was like, it didn't, It kind of cut. Then it went back to him saying, you know, rapping or whatever. But that was it was a good little vibe. I was just trying to figure out like what's more into detail on that, like what's the T on that, but it's building up to like the tracks were like I like at first I was like, damn dude, you going from track one, you being depressed, you singing like Drake. I'm like, where, where are you going with it? Where are you going with it? <laughs> Into track um like I said four about them. I'm gonna build you up just a little bit more. I'm gonna get y'all back. I'm here. I just wanted to show you where I was going before. So track um, five, him is in love. It's uh, what is it? Um, she something part two. Something part two. I forgot. She's my part one. My bad. And so this one, he just let him know his head is in the sky. He fell in love. He done got, I don't know if he got his first piece. Now, nah, when you get your first piece, that's when you go crazy. <laughs> but yeah, he was all in love. Uh, he can be vulnerable with her and all that good stuff. So I was like, oh, that's cute. Look at J. Cook. Cole expressing love and stuff. Like wet dreams. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so yeah, that's that. It track. Track six, track six is a little bit more tempo, and you vibing with it. Track six is uh, changing, and this is where I think um, Ville Mentality kind of meshed its way in, and you know, just talked about change and changes within you. You know, nobody can do it but yourself if you. <clears throat> If you do the same stuff, the same stuff is going to happen and all that good stuff. So that was, I like that track. That was my Joel track. Joel Osteen track. Because Joel was very positive. So, yeah. <laughs> so, my bad, y'all. I'm drinking cucumber water. This is the bomb B. But, yeah. So, track seven. Neighbors, bro. Bro. <laughs> I don't know what I say. Neighbors is a euphemism for white people. I'm sorry. That's how I feel. The mug was a bum. He was like, they think I'm selling dope, but I am selling dope. <laughs> Just going back to that, that was funny, but um I love how he gave love to Trayvon Martin. Just like going back and forth. You know, they watching me, they watching me, but you know, um you wanna watch me but you don't wanna help me out and all you know, stuff like that. So I was like feeling that I'm feeling that track. Okay. <laughs> A Q song to me was um, folding clothes. That still got me the first time, and it's, it, it relates to the second time because it kind of went to me back to She's Mine Part One. So the folding clothes back, and it was ugh. I think, well, I feel that it's like the epitome of a man, kind of. Because he was like, I see my woman and all I want to do is do good for her. I don't want to do anything bad for her. I want to do everything good. And some about... Ooh, it was something about doing wrong. And doing right is better than doing wrong. But I'm going to get my words twisted. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to relate it, but yeah, just the fact that he wants to relieve stress off of I was like, yeah, that's a man. You see your woman... Or your partner in general, you know, being at the house or, you know, they, you know, they, they has been crazy or this and that. And he was just like, look, you help me out a lot, so I'm going to help you out a lot. And that's exactly what it was. I'm going to fold clothes for you. It, it, it's the least I can do. Just that type of stuff. And I was like, oh, look at him. He, him growing up. Him is growing up. So, yeah. Um, track nine. Track nine. She's my. It should be she's mine part two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, track nine. She's mine part two, and that one overlooked it on the first time I listened to it. Second time, it, it clicked, and I was like, okay. I hear a baby in the background. I was like, oh, okay. So he he just uh, goes into detail about um, bitch. 
At this point, I don't know if the baby's in the stomach or it's already out. But I want to say it's the mammogram because you you heard the uh, the heart pounding sound. And at this time, he was like, "I want to give you the world. I'm so glad God gave me this opportunity for this miracle." But at the same time, he ripped the hell out of Black Friday shoppers. Oh my God. Well, I mean, it's not really Black Friday shoppers, it's Black Friday in general. And Santa Claus, he dragged his ass. <laughs> he dragged the hell out of Santa Claus, which I loved it. He was like, it's commercial. He went, homeboy went, um, Charlie Brown on, uh, Minus. When, no, Linus. When Linus was like, I don't want to do this. Or maybe it was, maybe it was Charlie Brown. I'm talking about it's too commercialized, too this, too that. And it's not about, you know, giving. Because giving is always better than receiving. So, yeah, I got that from it. Uh, look at me. I I feel like I'm doing all right with this review. You know, I didn't want to be too umph and too um, But I'm, I'm, I'm coming along with it. I'm coming along with it. So, yeah. That was partially She's Mom Part 2. Good vibe. You know, great. The whole damn mute song was uh, just a good message to this baby. And lastly, we have For Your Eyes Only, which is the end of the... Uh, end of the you know the album and at this time y'all we already know like the last album it took him 10 minutes to finish the song i forgot like all of them i, well, I don't know if the last two albums or well, the first two excuse me the first two albums were like 10 minutes long as last track i'm not sure but the, you know these last couple of ones he, he was talking like force hill drive thanks for the editors what's up hey but this one was strictly to nina which was good so give me 15 minutes you want to talk to j cole do what you do bro i love it but yeah that one was definitely so once she's out but this thing if he didn't live he wanted nina to see you you know baby this is you know this is the world you're going to have some conniving people, but you know, daddy still love you. You might think, you might not like me, you might love me, you might hate me, you might spite me, depending on what stage in life you're on. I was just like, damn, dude, how old are you again? <laughs> he woke. He be woke for real. So, yeah, the, the album, go get it. Like, my first time I listened to it, I gave it an 8 out of 10. The second time I listened to it, I gave him like a 10 out of 10, or as X-Play likes to do it, a 5 out of 5 in this mug. So yeah, it was, I, I definitely enjoyed it. It was a, it was a ride. It was a, uh, a good experience. I'm, and homeboy, he's surpassing a lot of people. I think cycle.com or whatever that site was, I was reading something while I was looking at a video on Facebook. He was just like, he topped Nas, he topped Jay Z was just having no features, and Jay Z it took Jay Z like so and so out, so many albums, and yeah, right. It's J Cole's time to shine. Like every album, well, well to me, every album he's done well, but these last two have been socially aware and you know just about life, and he talked about death and. Just how his friends were getting killed, but it was all for his baby. Cause at first y'all was just like, "Is you writing a diary? What what is this?" But yeah, <laughs> it was just all for his baby and just not you know for his baby, but around the world, black folks, it's it's for us. Listen to this music. Listen to it. Let him be the, ooh, I don't want to, Lord, my Angelo, I'm not shading you at all. I love you to death, but let him be the male my Angelo or something like that. Let him be just a piece of Martin Luther King, a piece of Malcolm X, a piece of my Angelo. Just this dude to graduate college and all this stuff. Like, this is who we need to look forward to, not some of these whack rappers. I'm not going to say any names, but you hear none of the songs that, on Vivo were on this album. That's what I loved about it. I was like, already, I'ma spit this little piece and I'ma throw this album out here. But just know, this is for my baby. But this other stuff I got for you, it's for y'all to know that I'm back, bro. And I love this. So yeah, ten out of ten, five out of five, shabam, shabam. I love it. So <laughs> that's all I got. Damn, this mug was 15 minutes long. 15 minutes long. 10 out, I mean, 10 tracks. What's up with it? He did it. I love it. I'm out.